Okay, so in this video, what you can do is, as you can see, whenever I play this game, even if I move the paddle, the ball doesn't go with the paddle. But what we want is this. Before starting the game, before launching the ball, what we want is, whenever we move the paddle to some places, we want the ball to also follow that paddle to that place. As an example, if I move the paddle here, I want the ball to be here. And if I then press the space key, then I want the ball to go from here uh, and give it a rigid body 2D add force from here. Okay? So in order to do that, we need to follow some simple steps. As you can see here, all of these components are individual components. That means none of them are parent or child of anything. But what we want to do is, we're going to select this blue ball and drag this one and drop it over this paddle red. Now as you can see that if I click on this small triangle right here, it collapses the blue ball. So that means now blue ball is a child object of this paddle red and this paddle red is a parent object of this blue ball. That means now this blue ball is always with the parent. If I try to move the parent, the child would automatically move there. Let's see that. As you can see, if I click this move tool and select the paddle red, and if I move the paddle red, now as you can see the ball automatically moves with it. That means the child will automatically move with the parent wherever I move it. Okay? But this is not the case when we play the game. As you can see, if I play the game, and now try to move. As you can see, we don't have a good behavior. The ball doesn't move and we don't have the required behavior that we need. So we need to make a few changes to make it the way we want. Okay? So what we first of all need to do is, we need to select the blue ball. And as you can see, since it has a rigid body to the component attached to it, so it is already communicating with the physics engine. That is where we have some problem between both of these. So what we can do is, we can select the blue ball and just check this is kinematic property. Is kinematic property means it won't be affected by any other physics forces. So now it won't be affected by any physics forces and it will automatically be moved to the transform position of its parent that is this paddle. So now if I play this game, now as you can see, if I move the paddle, the ball moves with the paddle, okay? But the problem now is that even if I press the space key, the ball doesn't go up even if I move, even if I give it an add force. As you can see here, we are giving it a force. But even after that, the ball will not move because we have already said that it won't get affected by any other physics forces. So that means it won't get affected by this add force. So that means it won't move even if we give it a force. So in order to fix that, just before we launch this ball, just before we launch this ball, we need to set this kinematic property to false. As you can see here, it is true. So we need to set this to false. And other than that, we also need to set this ball's parent Null. That means then we want the ball to be an individual component, not a child object of this paddle. Okay? So in order to do that, we're just going to come here and just before this add force uh, statements, we need to write, first of all, we need to set the parent to null. So we will write transform dot set parent equals null. So what this means is we are simply setting its parent to null whenever we are pressing the space key for the very first time. Okay? And then we are adding the force. But before that we need to do one more thing. Before that we need to set the rigid body to the property to false. Okay? So rb dot rigid body 2d okay we also have that property so we need to set rv dot is kinematic and then we need to say is kinematic equals 
false. So now it won't be is kinematic and there won't be any kinematic property. So now it will get affected by physics forces again. And so that is why we can add this force again. Okay. So now let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, we have an error here. It says the left hand side of an assignment must be a variable, a property or an indexer. Let's open that. And if you want to go to that error location, just double click that and it will automatically take you to that location. So let's double click that. As you can see, it has taken you to the location. As you can see, it says transform.set parent equals to null. Here we have some problem. So what is the problem? The problem is that we need to do this like this. This is a function, so we cannot assign the false value directly. We need to start this function, we need to call this function, and as a parameter, we need to pass what do we want. So here we need to pass now, then close the bracket, and then write semicolon. Okay, so now this function will be called, and this null value will be passed as the parent, so now it won't have any parent. Okay, as you can see now the error will be gone. And now if I play this game, as you can see now the ball moves left and right with me as we wanted. And if I press the space key, the ball goes up just as we wanted it to do. So this is how we have done and we have solved all the problems that we had.